everyone, Cheryl here today with Kadoodlebug Designs and today we're going to be paper piecing the sweet little birthday bears. Isn't she super cute? I just love these bears. Anyways, uh, Kadoodlebug Designs is celebrating 12 years and so we're doing a hop over on the Facebook page. If you'd like to join us, um, there'll be some prizes and inspiration and just some fun over there. And so I do have her done up here. And I did do her eyes a little different. I don't know if you can see, but I did some shading of some blues and pinks. And we're going to use only one ink on this. So we're using tea dye for the, all the bare pieces. And then for just the blue, we're going to be using BG15. It's a Copic. And G12 and RV11, and that's it. And then um, we're gonna do our eyes a little different, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have all my pieces prepped, laid out, and I'm just gonna show you the tea dye. Um, I'm just kind of taking the dauber and using it on the edges of the little hands, and just kind of get that. Now, if you're watching from a cell phone, I always like to say, um, put go ahead and do full screen. You just tap the screen and then right here in the right corner, there's a box. And if you hit that, it'll give you the full screen here so you can see everything I'm doing just in case. Oh, and then on the little muzzle, all I did was just dab in like so just to give the edge. I didn't want a lot of shading on this. So that's it, we're done with that. So let's go ahead and get the pieces on. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is add our hat. And let me get this pen poked in here. We wanna add the hat, the ears. We're gonna add the hat and then the ears first. So we'll go ahead and do that. So the hat's the green, the bigger green. These colors are just so pretty. I love the pastels. And then we're going to add, so on the same thing, I did the same thing on these pieces. I took the marker and I just went along the edge, both edges. And I'll kind of show you. Let me just get these and then like that. So I'm gonna add, I'll get this one on, and then this is the top one, and then the middle one. So I just took the marker and just came along the edge here. Now, if you want it really shaded, you could come in with the blenders on the Copics and kind of blend that in. I'm gonna leave it on mine. Okay. And then we want to get these little ears on. And the other one. And just press those down really good. And then the little inner ear. I tried to prep everything just to kind of Hope that this one will go smooth, the video. Okay, so the ears are on. We wanna get her arms on. So we're gonna do the arms and then we're gonna put the legs. So the arms, I did the same thing. I just, um, and I wanna make sure they're up enough that see where this head comes. I wanna just make sure that they're up enough that the head's going to cover up the arms. And I'll do the same thing when I put the body on, but I have to do the legs first. So let's get this arm there. Okay. You could just wipe that up. So I am using the Viker tool. Um, I do have people asking me about that. I do put links um, in the description, if you click below the video and open, I think it's like more information or something. Um, I do have links in there, but I do buy them off of Amazon. These are kind of heavy. And you get a set of two and some tweezers. 
and they just work really nice. If you're picking up like the little pieces and such on here, um, it works really nice for that. We're going to add the body. And then it also works really nice for picking up gems and little dew drops, like the robin's nest dew drops. Um, so it does uh, make that easy for me as well. Okay, so her little body is going to go like so. Bring that up a little bit. Okay get that pressed down okay and now we can add the head because I've got all my pieces on and so we're going to do the head next so I'm just putting some glue on there and I am using the art glitter glue I buy that on Amazon as well um I can get um the refill and everything and that little ear probably could have come down a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can lift that and because it was still a little wet. So I just added some glue. There we go. Let me get a little rag. Okay. So I could tell this ear was up a little more than what it should be but that's all right because she's gonna have this little piece here and then the one up here so now we want to do the muzzle and I'm going to show you how I do the eyes on this one so the muzzle we're just going to add some glue to the back and I left a little bit of room on this one because I am going to hold this down at the bottom like so so it's kind of lifted up a little but I just want to get the little eyes placed so I can just come back in if I need to and push down on that muzzle there. And so for the eyes, I'm going to just get those placed where I'm thinking I may like them. And these ones I left farther apart. I don't know if you could see in the one right there, but I did leave them a little uh, space in the middle. A lot of times I like to bring the eyes really close, um, but on this one I didn't. And I'm just going to use this tool to grab some of that glue that came out. And then, so I'm not going to add the black just yet. Because I want to take my marker and come, I'm going to come in and just draw a little bit I want to leave some of the white but I can come down enough and over and this is just I wanted to give her a little eye color now you could leave it like that or come in and smooth it with the Copic um, and this is the same blue that I used on the the hat and such and so we can kind of see what that's going to look like so I'm just going to grab these little eyes now when I place the eyes I don't line them right up on this I kind of bring them if I can move it let's see I kind of bring them because the, the little thing's a little wet bring them in so they're not there we go so they're over the edge on the inside just like so. And I'm going to do the same thing with that one. So we can go ahead and place them. I think that's going to be fine. If you feel like you, if you end up doing this you and you feel like you need um, some more color, you could always come back in with your marker. There we go. And now this one. And then I'll push everything down once it's settled. Okay, I think that's probably going to be good on there. 
And then I'm going to just clean up a little bit of the glue, even though I'm not going to be doing anything on that part. There is a little black piece right there, but okay. So I'm thinking that looks good. Hopefully I'm right on. Okay, so now for the eye part, I want to go ahead and we're just going to do the eyes really quick here. So I'm going to use a uh, 05 and 005 micron. I did buy a set of six of these off of Amazon for like, I think, $10.95. So we're going to start with that, the 05. This is going to kind of give that little thicker line. You can kind of bring that up. I want it a little thick on the bottom and then thinner at the top. And I can always come back in with the zero, zero 005 if I need to. Okay, so we've got that. And so now what I want to do is I want to come in with a little bit of shading. So I'm going to start with a little black and I'm just using a shading tool. I don't know where I got this one. This one I actually had in all my brushes in here. And if I had to guess, I probably bought it from Joann's or Michael's. But if you're if you're purchasing on Amazon, you could probably find some little shader brushes. It's just nice. It's got a it's a little thicker. It's short, and it just holds the the chalk I'm using right now. Um, stamping up chalks. So I am coming in with a really deep blue right now, just right here on the bottom where the black is. And I'm going to blow the excess off. Now I'm going to come in with a bright blue, kind of like the blue that her eyes, the same color kind of as her eyes. And I am going to bring that kind of, and I'm going to always, I always come back in and then blow that off and do it with, once I have the lashes done. So the lashes are going to be done with the zero, um, zero five. And then now I'm just using the paste, pa uh, Posca paint pen. This I use a lot in this and on my cards. This one is the 0 0.7 millimeter. And so I do use that quite a bit. So on her lashes, I'm going to start with feathering them down. And so I just kind of come in and try to lightly Sometimes I get them heavier. So just bring those down. And then now we'll do the ones. I thought she would look really pretty with some long ones. And then since those didn't come out long, let's see if my pen, I hope my pen's okay. Let's see. And it really doesn't matter like the length. I mean, I could have them all long if I want. You can always come in if you want to add some short ones. I mean, it's really up to you. So same with this, I'm gonna go long. I felt like her face had a lot of room for lashes. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna add a ton. <laughs> Just of the longs. Okay, so. That's, that looks fine to me. I'm going to leave it. And then now I'm going to come in with a pink. I want to add some pink and feather it down. Like blend that down, not feather, but I'm kind of just blending it down. I love doing the, the colors on these. So I'm just blending it into that blue. Now I want to come in with some more of this bright blue. Um that I'm using. So the blue I'm using, I'm gonna show you really quick, is right here, okay? So I just kind of picked the colors that I thought would look pretty. Alrighty, I think her eyes are done. Yep. 
Okay, so we can do the cheeks now. On the cheeks, I'm just going to use um, the number four. And this one I bought at Michael's, but I think I have a number four in the ones. I bought a set of 12 of these off of Amazon, and I believe it comes with the four, but I didn't end up grabbing that one this time. So you could get a set for somewhere around nine or ten dollars off of Amazon versus I think I paid for this one brush probably, I don't know, two or three or four. I, it's been a long time. I don't remember. So I started with the darker and now I'm going to come with a very pale um, pink up along the top just to kind of blend that a little bit and smooth it out. And so hopefully you could kind of see. Okay. You could always do the eyes. They look really pretty with the, um, uh, what's it called? Sorry, you guys. I can't think. Um, 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 it is called the glossy accents. Um, you could do the eyes with the glossy accents. It looks really, really pretty. I'm not going to do that on this one today. So let's go ahead and get her nose. So we're going to get the nose on and then we'll finish putting the few little pieces that we have left on. So we've got the nose right here. And we'll get our dots. So we got, we have some dots. I like to put the dots at the top of the ears. I think it looks cute. Zero, zero, five. So I do two and then one. You could come in and do a little line if you wanted. You could even do a little teeny mouth, but I didn't do a line on the other ones, but I thought I would just show that on this one. And then I go ahead and add the three little dots here. And now we can finish her hat. So we're gonna put this part on her hat. We'll get that one done. So I think I'm going to flip these because these get covered with, um, I'm using some glitter on them. So I'm not too worried if they're fully covered. Super cute she is. So just make sure I do cover that up there though. Okay. So while we let that dry, we can come down here and get the banner on. So I'm going to start with the banner pieces. So we'll get these little pieces on. So I started with the green. And on the green, I did the same thing with the marker. I just um, did both ends or both sides. One here, one here. Um and then we'll put the green there. I'll push them all down once I'm ready. Now on the blue, I used the same blue that I used on her eyes. There we go. Just kind of clean up some of that glue so it's not all over. Okay, so press those down. Okay, so I think those are all pressed. All right, and then we'll get the little, this piece on here. Now I didn't take, I was gonna take the gray marker and do the edge, but I didn't. And you could always do that. That looks really nice. And then just kind of get those to match up. And then I'm going to come in with the rag again and press down. Okay. And then any excess glue that will be seen, I kind of just try to grab it with the end of this tool. Okay, I think that's good. And then everything's pressed. We can add her little paws, one here, and she gets one here. 
You can add the glue to the back of the paw. There. Okay. And, and then we just have the glitter. And then we'll be done. Oh, and I do add my white marks really quick. So I go little one here, here. I do light ones on the arms and then so okay and then we're just glittering and that's it and I just left what was in there for from doing that one and so I'm just gonna add some glue and then the glue here and then we're done okay let's go ahead and put her in there and I'm just using a faint pink glitter you could use whatever whatever colors you like and then tap that and she is done and so I do hope you enjoyed my video today and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos please follow and thanks for stopping by have a good day